if you have been listening to the previous audio log you must have realized that we are not an organism of free will we like to think that we have free will but we do not which is what the whole concept of procrastination comes in now we have been told that we are lazy because you are procrastinating we are not cut out for doing this sort of work because we procrastinate or we just like to do the things at last moment and if you are an engineer by any chance you got to have all the idea that why we as engineers procrastinate till the last last day to submit our homework to submit an assignment or even on the exams so the whole concept of being a procrastinator is not of being in control now as i've always told you our limbic system is the one that is in control it provides us the narrative for what we are supposed to do and why we do this so for example if you have been given a timeline of 170s to complete an assignment or a work that has been assigned to you yet you do not complete it in the five first five days and are starting to work on it start on it on the fifth day itself that means the urgency of the work is now quadrupled or even eight times has become eight times so why does that even happen it is because that the activity or the assignment that has been assigned to us is not in a state of flow meaning our limbic brain is so much in control of our habits and our abilities that it completely overpowers our brain during the initial time and what our limbic system is focused on is to do the pleasurable activities so for example if you like to play video games you are going to continuously play video games until and unless someone stops you because that is what it's designed and simulated so far through the neural network that it is going to continue to for you to do that only if you are someone who likes to read books and does not like to write and you have been given a written assignment you will continue to read books until the last day comes in and that's when what happens is the prefrontal cortex takes charge there is a punishment system and punishment becomes the incentive for the monkey brain or your primate brain to to be told that because i do not receive wish to be penalized or punished i need to have this done and which is when the monkey brain resides in the back and lets you do the work that you were supposed to do prefrontal cortex acts as a strict robot or maybe some sort of an instructor with a cane in his hand that lets you know that you have had fun for too much and now what you have got to do is to do the work that you've been assigned but in certain cases for example of a coder if he has been given an assignment for coding to write a program or to write an app and he enjoys doing that he receives a pleasurable activity that his neural network is strengthened by the likes of doing coding what will happen is that he already is in a state of flow and state of flow is very simple it has been defined that your monkey brain is already in control of the activity that you've been assigned and it is primarily so much automatic that you don't have to exert a lot of pressure on your prefrontal cortex to do that so what will happen is the task that you've been given you will be able to finish it in one day and you will continue to doing the same task over and over again because it is something that you are already doing you becoming you become an autonomous machine that lets you know that okay this is the activity that i was looking for and i have gotten it so you will seek pleasure in that form continuously this is why somehow coders also interest me and they let me know that that they are not exactly in control of their prefrontal cortex instead that they are being controlled by their limbic system whenever it comes to doing some sort of code unless until they encounter an a hindrance that is so big that they are not automatically automatically able to overcome it or bypass it so the next time you think about why procrastination is happening you need to know that it's not via your choice or your volition of choice instead it's 
just how your pleasure systems are designed and you would rather do the thing that pleasures you than something that you load and until and unless the last day comes in and the punishment is so severe that you have to do it otherwise you will fail or get a bad grade or maybe even penalized for some sort of thing you are not going to do that activity at any case i remember in my case one one it was during my third year in college and of engineering and one of these days i was so frustrated with one subject that in, in its final exam i didn't go to study i studied the two subjects that i actually enjoyed the two topics of the subject and the rest the entire subject i did not study for luckily i don't even know how i was able to crack it but again it was because the way that my pleasure systems were engaged and i loathed the subject so much that i did not study even the fear of failing that exam or even the failure fear of getting bad grade did not bother me enough to let me know that it's not important